No, Jim. You see, you're actually an antagonist. You're not a catalyst for change. You're an antagonist trying to force change on someone who doesn't need the change. You see, God changes people. God moves him, and God inspires him. His women, the women he cares for, are stunners in the world, but he has the right to like them. He has the right to love them, and you don't have the right to call them. You don't have the right to involve them, but you have just immorally and incestuously put yourself in the midst of relationships that are none of your business. And you have illegally and immorally outside the lines of your marriage gone after somebody who didn't need your playing at her vanities. All women, all men, all children have a point of vanity. It's why the Catholics talk about the seven deadly sins. But vanity is absolutely one of them. And vice is what we're talking about with you because your vice is causing mischief. Now, making mischief is sort of a fun idea for people who are pagan or people who are Wiccan or even people who are of a different type of religion. But when we talk about it, we're talking more about playfulness. We're not talking about harming people. At least I'm not. There are people who are Druids and others that do cause harm to people. They are living in darkness. They are living in the darkness of the Dark Lord that we sort of hear about like Voldemort. But that's why those films are powerful for our children and powerful for adults. It reminds them of the truths of what is coming about in the spiritual realm and in the forms of religion. The true light of the Lord is something that shines through you and shines upon others to help to highlight their opportunities, their abilities, and their skill sets. The darkness of a dark Lord, the dark that's talked about in many types of things like the Bible, the Quran, and other religious works, is that of darkness. It's a death-oriented person. It's someone who is constantly trying to take from someone to prove their prowess over someone, to lord their concepts over someone. And God didn't create you to do that. You see, God said, I created each and every one of you like a speck of dust of me. And therefore, everyone is holy until they start moving themselves into darkness. And when you move yourself into darkness, your entire family sins. You literally cause such sin in your family that it causes great strife for everybody. You see, you could have had a family of love and kindness, but you chose to create an attack on someone's life that hasn't really been your business. You've been so busy with your own life, your own wife, your own kids, your own activities, your own uh, coaching, your own whatever, that you haven't really played into that person's life. But all of a sudden, because that person goes through a little bit of struggle, a little bit of downturn or whatever, you decide to attack. And that's you, the antagonist.